So we're here with a legendary producer, actor, activist, everything. I mean, I can go on forever, but uh, we wanted to ask uh, Mr. Edward Dink, almost here, um, how he felt about the inauguration and uh, what maybe we can do as, as uh, young, young Latinos, young Chicanos, and African Americans to um, you know, pull, pull this thing together and move forward. First and foremost, this is something that's taken an awful long time to happen. For people of color to be at this stature at this time in the existence of humanity with the kind of problems that we have, it's monumental. Now, we can either sit back and say, let's see how this guy does, or we can turn around and understand that we are the change, not him, we are. What he's allowed us to experience is that change is possible. So figure it out for yourselves. Either we can continue to move the way we're moving and be disappointed, or we can participate within our own communities, within ourselves, within the way we think, and start to move towards an understanding that the planet is really small and that we have responsibility for the entire planet. So whatever you think about, always think in that manner so that in turn, your children's children's children will have a beautiful place to live and be in front of us. Just remember, man, <laughs> there is no such thing as a Latino race. And there's really no such thing as an African race, or a Caucasian race, or an Asian or indigenous race. Remember that. There's only one race of people on this planet, and that's the human race, period. Inside of that human race, there are gorgeous cultures, African cultures, Asian cultures, Latino cultures, Caucasian cultures, and of course the indigenous people on the planet. So all I say to you is this. Change is within us, not coming from the outside, coming in. It's coming from the inside going out. So I hope you'll take the opportunity to change. Thank you, thank you. Can so you get a quick wave over to Community Coalition? Community Coalition. Ustedes son la razón porque tenemos esperanza hoy. Que siguen adelante siempre. Los quiero mucho.